So the pollution pods are five geodesic domes and within each dome I've recreated the pollution from cities around the world. Um, and really for me it's a way of getting people on board with the climate change debate. So even though pollution isn't caused by, or the causes of climate change aren't pollution per se, the causes of pollution and the causes of climate change overlap hugely. So that way I'm getting people to engage with something that affects their everyday life rather than something that seems very remote like a polar bear on a melting glacier. I mean, this is a, a pretty new experiment for me. I mean, in, uh, in April, I worked with some students to build a sculpture for a Sky Arts program called Landmark. Um, and that's the first time I started to really work with students to make my own work. Um, and so with this project, I've been training the students in how to set up the pollution pods because we're taking them to King's Cross and then to various cities across the UK to land at COP26 in November. Pollution pods themselves is quite relevant, especially nowadays to climate change and everything and air pollution. And the whole part of it is it shows actually what each city is sort of like internally and how bad some of them are compared to one another directly because you don't really, I suppose you wouldn't necessarily notice it that much if you were going from one city to another. Whereas if you've got them right next to each other, you're comparing them, it's quite noticeable. But yeah, the involvement of students, we were basically just setting it up and kind of getting an understanding of how it works and writing a report on that afterwards. Well, I've been, I've been here from start to finish really, like most of the, well, all of the lads here really um, helped construct, you know, the exoskeleton, I guess you could call it, and lift up the membrane, you know, all, all you know, everything, really. In general, everybody, students and everybody on campus, uh, you know, the first time they see it and they, they come up to you and they're like, what's this about? And, and I'm like, it's the pollution part. It's provoking a discussion about the levels of pollution in, in our cities. And they, they may not quite understand and you just like, go ahead, take a stroll through and they take a stroll through and they come out on the other side and you know they're quite educated they're, they're quite enlightened and they go wow it's not how bad new delhi is it's not how bad london is londoners for instance don't even know how bad their air is you know so so this way the students get an amazing real world experience um they get it on their cvs um we get the project out in public uh, and it's a uel project and so, you know, Michael gets a team that he can work with, you know, in a way, I really like the everybody wins scenario.